welcome back everybody. Thanks for stopping by. We are gonna continue the driveway preparation. As some of you probably know, the 4720 is in the shop again, but the show must go on. So we got the tiller hooked up to the 1025R. Where we're standing, I actually did a small strip just to see how it would work last weekend. We're gonna to try to make some real progress today. Tilling up, which works really well. Tilling up and then scooping it out with a bucket. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, if the weather permits, if we get everything ready to go, we're gonna be able to get some gravel by the end of next week, maybe early the following week at the latest. Hey, and I wanna let you know we are sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are a stability solution for your tractor. If you feel tippy side to side, Bora Wheel Spacers can make a difference. There's a link down below to where you can go to buy. We have some great conversations down in the comments section. If you have something helpful to add, leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more tractor videos. And if you want something for your tractor, an accessory, an attachment, maybe looking for a new used tractor, we can help with that. Check out goodworkstractors.com. So a couple other things besides just the tilling and scraping out some of this topsoil, right about where I'm standing, we're gonna have to put a culvert in. It really drops down the terrain does and kind of slopes off into the woods. So this will be where one culvert goes in and then we have to put another one up by the road as well. That's all that's gonna be required. I'm also gonna put down the geotech fabric. A lot of you guys recommended that. I've talked to a lot of the companies around here as far as uh, the gravel companies, excavation companies, and some landscapers. Some use it, some don't. I am gonna spend the extra couple thousand it costs to put it down. I think it's gonna be a better long-term solution for me. The thought is that putting that fabric down will prevent a lot of the stone from kind of sinking down into the ground. So in the long run, that $2,000 may save me a whole bunch of stone. Okay, so this project really calls for a bigger uh, piece of equipment than what I'm using today. I'm gonna tell you about this Tower River Tiller, which is a good size on the 1025. I really wish I was using my 4720, but on that note, I did get an update. Okay, so they sent me an email. They had it on the dyno. They were doing a lot of testing. Said so the technician was beating his head against the wall on this one. It's kind of a, one of those sneaky problems that's just not blatant. He found a small leak in the water pump. Uh, looks to be just a gasket on there. There's a definite flow issue somewhere in the radiator. They have a 70 or 80 degree difference between uh, the top to bottom of the radiator alone and over a 100 degree difference between the radiator and the engine block itself. So I told them, take care of that leaking gasket, do a, a radiator flush, replace the thermostat, kind of start with the cheaper things and then work our way up to the more expensive. So they're working on that now. I don't have another update. I'll keep you guys posted, but there was something more significant going on with this tractor, the way that it was acting. We're getting closer to figuring that out. Okay, so a 48 inch tiller is the right size for a subcompact tractor. 60 inch is really too big. I have used 60 inch, it will do the job, but today is gonna be pushing the limits on a four foot tiller. This ground right now is pretty darn hard. Um, it goes from being really wet to really hard really quickly. <laughs> so really wet is just a complete mess. So we're gonna deal with these conditions. So this is gonna have a slip clutch on it, not a shear bolt, so that's really nice. It's gonna be a gear drive, not a chain drive, which I prefer. I think it's a more robust system. Now a chain drive, versus a gear drive is a conversation that you can have. Uh, gear drive is gonna be potentially more expensive to replace if something does go wrong. Um, these come with a five-year gearbox warranty. Now a chain drive, if you break a chain, you can go to a store typically right around your area, get a replacement chain and get back up and running quicker. Now these have some other nice features. You're gonna notice an A-frame uh, up here, which gives it a lot of strength and rigidity. On the bottom side, you are gonna have six blades per flange. You're gonna have a six inch tilling depth. You're gonna have a swing gate that is adjustable too. And then you're also gonna have adjustable skid runners down below. You don't need to go six inches deep. And in fact, today we're not. We're gonna be going more like three or four inches and make a second pass over to try to not tax this tiller too much in this soil condition. A couple nice features to note up front, you are gonna have this parking stand. And then if you take a look at these lower links right here and on the other side as well, they are bolted on. And what that means is you can slide them left or right along this rail so you can make sure it's quick hitch compatible. So some of those smaller tractors may have a little bit narrower um, three point hitch, those lower links. So you can narrow this up on the tiller to make sure that it attaches. Alrighty, well the clock is ticking so it is time to get to work.
Alrighty, well, things are going a little slower than, uh, than we hoped for. It's about, well, it's two minutes to seven o'clock tonight. We got one pass all the way down and one all the way back. I need to repeat that, same thing, down and back again, and then probably till over it a second time to get to the depth that I want uh, overall. But we're running out of daylight. I don't want this work to go to waste. So we're gonna get on the skid steer and scoop it out, get this uh, fresh, soft dirt. The reason I'm doing that, I covered it in a previous video, but it's very easy then at that point. I could just use the skid steer and kind of scoop it all out. For me, I don't have a ton of experience with a skid steer and with a bucket. It either wants to ride up back to the surface or dig down deeper. I can't really keep a consistent cut. And so tilling gives you a nice soft layer and then a hard bottom and it's something for that bucket just to ride against. I really like how it does that. And so that's why I'm doing this right here. The 1025 hour pushing that thing to the limits. It was really struggling. We knocked out a lot of big shrubs back this way and then a few others uh, throughout the, the drive area too. And so there's a lot of leftover root balls and uh, some stumps that didn't quit, get quite ground down enough with the mulcher. And so when it would hit one of those, it would just severely bog it down. Fortunately, a couple times I had to take some breaks uh, as that needle was creeping up on the heat. We were about 20 feet from finishing up on this pass and everything shut down. Uh, well, actually the tractor stayed running, but it said overheat and it killed the PTO. So I cranked it down to idle, I pulled out my phone and you could actually see that needle just kind of over about a minute and a half, minute and 45 seconds, creeping down from the red all the way down until somewhere in the middle of the green and recovering. And then we got back to it and finished up those last few feet. And I know a lot of you would say, just get a dozer for this job. You're using the wrong tools. And I would agree, you know, you could get a dozer and knock this out a lot quicker, but that's not the point of my channel. You know, a lot of you guys that watch this channel don't have dozers, don't want to run a dozer, but you do have a tractor and a lot of you do have a tiller, or you can buy a tiller and then have a tool after you're done doing this with your driveway. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to. Hit that subscribe button to see more if you haven't done so already. And if you're looking for something for your tractor, head on over to GoWorksTractors.com. Alrighty, we're gonna hop back in the skid steer there and get this dirt scooped out. Thanks so much for stopping by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.